You've killed 38 people. Yes, sir. When did you first kill somebody? How old were you? I was 16, the first time I hit somebody in the head. How did you kill him? I walked up behind him and I shot him in the back of the head. The other men you've killed, you've done that on contract from the mob? I've done exactly 35 on contract and three for revenge. Three for revenge? That's correct. Tell us about the three for revenge. Well, I got married in 1958. How old were you? I was 26. I was hired to do a job with somebody that had nothing to do with hitting. But my payoff was supposed to be 40000 only the party, party thought it would be cheaper to kill me. And I came to my house and my wife was there and she was pregnant. One of them asked where I was and my wife said she didn't know, which was true, she didn't. And they kicked her in the stomach and she hemmed me, she was, and died. Then they caught me, caught up to me and they broke my neck. And I put 15 months in the hospital. But they made one mistake. They didn't break it big enough. When I come out of the hospital, I went hunting, and there was nothing in this world that was going to stop me from finding them people. And I found them, and I watched them all die nice and slow. You ever shoot anybody with a long range 22? Shoot them in the legs so they can't move, and shoot them in the shoulders, and the arms, and in the rib cages so they bleed nice, and they hurt a lot. And they use flat, flat bullets, flathead bullets. What you do is you take a blade and you shave part of the bullet off to make it flat. So when it goes in, it scrambles. And they just kept reloading and kept shooting. And I'll tell you something, I never felt so good in all my life. Now, you then go, and it's your responsibility to make sure that man dies. That is correct. If you bungle the job, what happens? I'm dead. Have I'm you ever bungled a job? No. All 38 men? They went. Do you know why most of the 35 men that you killed professionally, do you know why they died? Yeah. Why? They were the stool pigeons, they were stealing from the boss, and they got too ambitious. What about identification? Well, nobody can give you a description. It's almost impossible. Because when people hear that loud noise, they hit the floor. We're well, one place where I hit a guy, the people, there were, I think, 14 different people in there. Not one of them come up with the same description of me. Do you disguise yourself in any way? No, just walk in, do the job, turn around, walk out. Right, so the police know all about you. Oh, sure. And they would know all about the 38 murders? Well, well they, take they, the three. They're, they're pretty sure of the ones that I've done. They just can't prove Have it. you been called in on all the ones you've I've done? I've been called in on 17 of them. Maybe about an hour or two. I say, look, you got something on me? Book me. If not, out. Is there a payoff to get out of it? No way. No. You just pick up and walk. And I said, you got something? I said, I call my lawyer. <laughs>